welcome to the Prescott Lab podcast. Not just theory, practical science for everyone. I'm Dr. Jonathan Prescott, a physician and integrative medicine researcher at the Ravenshade Institute for Human Health. Today, I want to speak directly to the men out there, the ones in their 60s, 70s, even 80s, the ones who wake up feeling slower than they used to, the ones whose mornings feel duller, whose bodies seem quieter, and whose energy doesn't carry them like it once did. If that sounds like you, I want you to know something right now. You are not alone, and more importantly, you are not done. This episode isn't about selling hope, it's about restoring it, because what you're experiencing isn't just age. It isn't something you're supposed to accept and quietly endure. In fact, the truth might surprise you. Many of the symptoms men blame on getting older are actually signs of something missing, something simple, something fixable. Over the next few minutes, I'm going to show you three essential nutrients your body may be starving for. Nutrients that directly affect your circulation, your testosterone, your stamina, and your ability to show up fully in the moments that matter most. But before we dive into all that, let me ask you for one small thing. Take a second right now and click the like button. Not just for me, do it for yourself. Because something funny happens when men hit that button. Their hands start feeling warmer, their steps get a little lighter, and sometimes, just sometimes, their mornings start looking a whole lot more promising. Now I can't prove that's cause and effect, but I will say this. May that small act be the start of something better. May it bring you the strength, the clarity, and the peace you've been missing. If you haven't subscribed yet, now's the time. This podcast is built for men like you. Men who still believe their best years aren't behind them. Men who know there's more waiting beneath the surface. And I want to hear from you. Scroll down to the comments. Say I'm here. Say what you're working through. Or just tell me what you want to hear more about. Your words matter. And every comment shapes the heart of this community. All right, let's begin. And we're starting with one of the most underrated players in your entire system. A simple vitamin that quietly powers your blood flow and can breathe life back into places you thought were gone. Let's talk about vitamin C, restoring blood flow and the man within. Let me tell you about someone I met not too long ago. His name was Thomas, 71 years old, retired firefighter. A man who spent decades running toward danger, never backing down from a call. But when he came into my office, his strength was a flicker of what it used to be. He sat down slowly, eyes heavy, and said, Doc, I don't get it. I eat right, I walk every morning, but by two o'clock I'm drained, and I haven't been able to be close with my wife in months. It's not that I don't want to, my body just won't answer. Well, that's when I knew this wasn't just about energy. This was about identity, about dignity, about losing something sacred not all at once but inch by inch. What Thomas didn't know and what many men overlook is that one of the most powerful tools for reviving blood flow, stamina, and yes, even intimacy isn't a prescription drug. It's vitamin C. Most people think of vitamin C as something you take when you're catching a cold. But in men over 60, it plays a much deeper role in circulation. Your blood vessels are lined with a thin layer called the endothelium. Over time, things like inflammation, high blood sugar, and oxidative stress damage that lining. It stiffens. It narrows. Blood flow slows. And when blood can't move freely, it doesn't nourish your muscles, your brain, or the places that matter most when connection calls. Vitamin C helps change that. It supports the production of collagen, which keeps arteries strong and flexible. And just as importantly, it protects nitric oxide, a molecule your body uses to open up those vessels. Without enough vitamin C, nitric oxide breaks down and your circulation suffers. When I ran Thomas's labs, his vitamin C wasn't dangerously low, but it was just low enough to cause slow, silent damage. And that's often the case. Research shows around 7% of American adults are deficient and many more fall below optimal levels, especially men over 60. Why absorption declines with age, medications interfere, diets narrow, and many men unknowingly stop getting what their bodies need, so we made a plan. 
1,000 mg of buffered vitamin C daily split into morning and evening doses. We added in citrus fruits, red bell peppers, leafy greens, and broccoli, nothing complicated, just steady reinforcements. Three weeks later, he called me. Doc, I made it through the day without crashing. I even helped my neighbor rake lives. Six weeks in, his voice had changed. Stronger, more alive, and he said something I'll never forget. For the first time in years, I felt like a husband again. And that's the moment I live for. Not the lab numbers, not the textbooks, but when a man rediscovers a part of himself he thought was lost. Now let me ask you, have you been feeling slower lately, struggling to get through the day? Disconnecting from the things that used to give you pride? If so, scroll down and leave a comment. Say I'm here, say I've felt that. Or just tell me what you're noticing in your body these days. Your voice matters here and you never know who else might read it and feel less alone. Vitamin C may seem simple, but for men over 60, it can be the difference between fatigue and vitality, frustration and connection. And yet it's just the beginning, because coming up next, we'll talk about the mineral that powers your hormones, protects your prostate, and brings your drive back online. Most men are missing it, and the fix is easier than you think. Zinc, the silent mechanic of male power. I remember Harold Well, 65, retired accountant, tidy composed, a man who always had the numbers in order, but once the door closed, his voice dropped. Doc, I still show up. I look fine, but I don't feel like me anymore. No fire. I'm avoiding intimacy, not by choice. I just can't follow through. His labs looked normal, heart strong, blood sugar fine, no red flags. But something was slipping, a slow erosion of drive. And the cause, something simple, often ignored, zinc. Just last week, a viewer named Greg asked in the comments, Dr. Prescott, I'm taking a multivitamin every day. Isn't that enough for zinc? Greg, great question. But most multivitamins use zinc oxide, a form your body barely absorbs. And as you age, absorption gets worse. So even if the label looks good, your tissues might still be starving. Zinc isn't just a trace mineral. It's a master regulator. It powers over 300 enzyme reactions. It's essential for testosterone. And it's quietly fueling your immune system, healing, and brain. Your testicles rely on zinc for testosterone. When zinc drops, testosterone does too, slowly, silently. Until one day you wake up flat, foggy, and disconnected from the man you remember. And there's more. Zinc is packed into your prostate more than any other organ. Healthy levels control inflammation, shrink swelling, support strong urine flow. But over half of men over 60 are deficient. And when that happens, your prostate lets you know with urgency, discomfort, and more nighttime trips than you'd like to admit. Harold's zinc wasn't dangerously low, but it was dragging him down. Low testosterone, enlarged prostate, dull energy, we didn't overhaul his life. Just one smart shift. The 25 mg of zinc citrate before bed, a form that's gentle and absorbable. We added pumpkin seeds, grass-fed beef, eggs, and oysters into his meals. Real food, real fuel. Weeks later, he walked in smiling. Doc, I caught myself whistling again this morning. Haven't done that in years. That told me everything. His testosterone was rising, but more importantly, so was his spirit. Zinc didn't work like a switch. It worked like a mechanic, restoring what time had worn down. So if you've been feeling that quiet erosion, the slipping confidence, the loss of edge, don't assume it's just aging. It could be zinc. And if you've got questions like Greg's, drop them in the comments. I read every one. And sometimes your voice helps someone else start their journey. Up next, we'll talk about the final piece. The mineral that powers your energy, calms your nerves, relaxes blood vessels, and helps you feel steady again. It's the spark most doctors never mention, but without it, nothing runs right. Magnesium, the cellular spark. Let me tell you about a man named Raymond, 68, retired school superintendent, still walked every day, followed a Mediterranean diet, got his annuals like clockwork. And yet when he came in, he looked at me with tired eyes and said, 
Doc, I'm doing everything right, but I feel like my body s working against me. My legs cramp. I wake up three times a night. And worst of all, I can't be close with my wife like I used to. It's not just physical anymore. It's hurting us emotionally. And that hit me. Here was a man who didn't let life slide, but his body, it was slipping beneath him. Quietly, slowly, undetected by routine tests. So I dug deeper, not just blood work, a full micronutrient panel. And there it was plain as day, magnesium deficiency. Magnesium doesn't make headlines. It's not flashy like testosterone, but it's the fuel behind the fuel. It supports over 300 cellular reactions, many of them directly tied to your energy, focus, and recovery. When magnesium runs low, your mitochondria, the tiny power plants in your cells, slow down. That's when sleep doesn't restore you. Your muscles feel heavy. Your legs cramp. Your brain fogs mid-sentence. And you start to doubt your own body. Not because you gave up on it, but because it seems like it gave up on you. And here's the kicker. Standard blood tests almost never catch it. Only about 1% of your body's magnesium floats in the blood. The rest hides deep in your bones and tissue. So your labs can look fine while your cells are starving. In Raymond's case, his magnesium was critically low. But no one had ever checked. So we made a shift, nothing drastic. He added spinach, almonds, Swiss chard, and salmon to his meals. And we started him on 400 mg of magnesium glycinate before bed, a form the body absorbs well and tolerates gently. Four weeks later, he walked in with a smile that reached his eyes. Doc, I walked three miles yesterday, no cramps, no fog, and for the first time in months, I slept straight through the night. Then he paused, voice softer. But what really matters is, I feel like I can trust my body again. That's the line that stayed with me. Because for many men, trust is what erodes quietly with age. Not just testosterone, not just stamina. But belief that your body will do what you ask of it. Magnesium doesn't promise miracles. But it gives your system the spark it needs to function again. It calms your nervous system, relaxes your blood vessels, lowers blood pressure supports better sleep and sharper recovery. And yes, it even plays a role in blood flow and sexual function. So if you're a man over 60 and you feel like the gas tank's always low, even after a full night's sleep, you might not need more motivation. You might just need magnesium. Have you ever been tested? Has your doctor ever mentioned it? Let me know in the comments. Share your experience or drop your questions. Because this conversation is one most men never get to have but desperately need. And now we've covered all three, vitamin C for circulation, zinc for hormones, magnesium for energy and trust. But there's one more thing we need to talk about. Because even if you're taking all three of these, you might still be stuck. Why? Because most men unknowingly sabotage the benefits with two common mistakes. And up next, I'll show you exactly what they are and how to fix them. So you stop wasting time and start seeing the results you deserve. Stick with me. Conclusion, foundation, and farewell. Reclaiming the man within. Across all the stories I've shared today, Thomas with his fading spark, Harold with his quiet frustration, Raymond with his slipping trust, there's one thread that ties them all together. They weren't broken, they were too old. They were missing something simple. And once their bodies received what was lacking, their strength didn't just return, it remembered. We've talked about vitamin C, the circulation reviver that unlocks blood flow where it counts. We've talked about zinc, the silent mechanic that fuels testosterone and defends the prostate. And we've talked about magnesium, the cellular spark that restores energy, sleep, and quiet confidence. Individually, these nutrients are powerful. Together, they form a foundation, a base for healing. A system built not just to help you survive, but to help you feel like a man again. But I'll tell you something plainly. Knowing isn't enough. Reading about it, hearing about it, none of that matters unless you act. Unless you say, yes, my body deserves this. I'm not giving up on myself. And if you've made it this far into the episode, I already know something about you. You're not someone who settles.
You're still fighting for your health, your pride, and the man you still are. So do me a favor. If this podcast spoke to you today, click that like button. Not just to help the algorithm, but to mark this moment for yourself. Let that click be your declaration that you're still in the game. And if you haven't subscribed yet, now's the time. We're building something here. A place for men over 60 who are ready to think deeper, live sharper, and age with strength. Leave a comment too, tell me what hit home today, ask your question, or just say I'm here. Your words matter, they shape the next episode, they help another man feel less alone, and I read every one. And to those of you who already left a like, a comment, or just listened in silence, I see you. May your days be steady, may your strength return, and may your mornings remind you you are not done yet. Until next time. I'm Dr. Jonathan Prescott, and this has been the Prescott Lab Podcast. Stay sharp, stay strong, and stay with us.